Namaste, I am Manjula. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I will be making Kalakand. This is a very traditional and delicious dessert made with whole milk. Kalakand is a variation of burfi. This is soft and grainy in texture. This recipe will make about 12 pieces. Okay. For this recipe, we need 8 cups of milk. First 4 cup of milk we need to make paneer and another 4 cup we will add on later in the paneer. 3 tablespoon of lemon juice, half a cup of sugar and about 1 tablespoon of sliced pistachios to garnish. First uh, I am going to make paneer. Before I put the milk in the saucepan, I am going to add couple of spoons of water. From my class, one of the students has suggested adding the water in the bottom. It uh, reduces the chance to, for milk to burn. Boil the milk on uh, medium high. While we are making the paneer, on the next burner, we can start the another 4 cups of milk, which we have to boil till it uh, reduces to the half or about 2 cups. We need to boil the milk on medium high and we do have to occasionally stir the milk so it does not burn. And milk has to be boiling so it's about 2 cups. Milk has come to boil and it's the time to add the lemon juice and I have added about 2 tablespoons of warm water in the lemon juice. And do it slowly and as uh, milk starts separating you will have to close the heat. And just wait few minutes before we will drain the way out of paneer. Okay. So while we were making paneer, this milk has started boiling. And we have to boil for another 15 to 20 minutes. Now I have to drain the way. So I have lined the uh, strainer with a cheesecloth or you can use uh, the muslin cloth. So I will strain the paneer and then I am going to wash this under cold water that will uh, take out the flavor of lemon juice. So I will wash the paneer with the cold water and the squeeze out the water as much we can. The paneer is ready to add in the boiling milk. Uh, I have already washed and drained the paneer. This is ready to add in the milk we are boiling. So let's check uh, how the milk is uh, coming. It has reduced quite a bit. It is boiling for about 10 minutes and looks like we need to wait another 5 minutes before we will add the paneer. Milk is ready. Yes, we can add the paneer. So just break the paneer with your fingers while you are adding it. And we have to cook this till it becomes a kind of a dough and it starts leaving the pan from the bottom. Okay. Before I added the paneer in the milk, it had already boiled for 15 minutes. And I always check the time after milk has came to boil first time. And now again it has been about 7 minutes. And it's getting thick. And now we do need to stir this uh, continuously. Because it will start uh, otherwise sitting in the bottom. And it will lose the color. This has been about 11 minutes as you see this has came all together and it's uh, like a soft dough it's time to add the sugar and again keep stirring 
it's almost ready just a couple of more minutes to go keep it stirring continuously so after we added sugar i cooked for another minute and as you see it is in a lump and it's uh, like a soft dough this is ready and i'm going to put this over the grease plate pour the kalakand over the greased plate and flatten out make sure this should stay about uh, half inch and we are going to cut the square pieces is easier with the kalakand because kalakand is in soft in texture it looks really good and texture looks very just right like i said it shouldn't be very thin and now i'm going to garnish with this pistachios garnish this while it is still warm because it stays with the kalakand better before we uh, slice them in the pieces it should cool off which will take about uh, half an hour kalakand looks very delicious traditionally in kalakand there is no added uh, flavors i hope your family and friends will enjoy this this is a very good recipe to make for upcoming holidays thank you and i will see you again with a new recipe